Alright, this video walkthrough is going to cover mission 2B for the Liao campaign in Mech Commander Command. 2. The only way to get past that sensor net is to send a mech equipped with ECM, like a Raven. Alright, loadout for this mission is important. Um, first off, we have a Menchen for its ECM. Um, much better than having a Raven. The so Raven's too light for this mission and it will get easily destroyed. Um, you want to come up to these sensor towers and destroy them. Then we want a jump jet mech, which we're using the Star Slayer, because um, we pretty much have to stick to medium mechs for this mission. But uh, jump jet so that we can reach this island here and another island uh, to the west. And uh, those drill sins don't move at all, so. The mech with jump jets has to face them alone. I got it, I got it. Uh, they're out of range from oh boy, anything that stays on land, so. It's something to keep in mind. Definitely try to get each one one at a time. In the meantime, I'm going to send my men Shen up to capture these LRM turrets here. Now we have the resource builder. Enemy resources captured. the uh, second sensor tower while my star slayer gets ready to jump to the west island here which has uh, some resource trucks this island's a little bit easier to take because uh, there's only some centipedes and they'll start to uh, travel away from the island as soon as you get there and uh, them. Enemy sensor net neutralized. We shouldn't have any more surprises. Yeah, two centipedes. Oh, it's just one resource truck, but. Enemy resources captured. Now we can jump back onto the mainland and regroup our forces. start moving north but uh, then northeast once we get to the mainland because there's a large amount of defenders uh, up on this ridge that we want to stay away from so just keep your distance and they don't tend to wander too far away the only patrollers that are uh, down here are some uh, vehicles which we can just kite for now if they uh, take interest in us Flank this space here. Blow a hole in it and uh, take it over because it has a lot of support that we need. But before we do that, 
we can head around to the repair bay that is to its uh, on its north side. And the weapons facility here, which is going to provide us with, I think, more clan weapons. Okay, you're in the right spot. Time to call for a salvage craft and put our pilots in the And uh, since we picked up that resource building from before, we can actually salvage uh, one of those Jaeger mix right now. Get the rest of the squad up to full repair. Capture the weapons facility, so now we've completed one of our objectives. And head back around to where I was talking about before. Listen, this is important. You just captured a full complement of clan energy weapon components. I fought the clan on Tukiid, and let me tell you, this stuff is just better than ours. Yeah, um... It's definitely around this point in time in the game you want to start heavily customizing all your mechs. Replace every weapon um, if you're using it in your sphere mechs. Uh, definitely replace the weapons with the clan versions uh, as much as heat will allow you. And a lot of times uh, what I've done in veteran is put extra armor plates on most of my mechs. Because um, typically in veteran they can fall pretty quick so the extra armor helps and only two of the three end fields that uh... were parked in between the resource buildings will come out of the base Fields are down. Up next time, we can finish off this drill. Yeah, Alright. We can repair some. Again, before uh, heading back into the main base. Everyone's in good shape, so 
back to penetrating the base. <laughs> Which now is pretty much devoid of defenders, but that last end field can do some damage. But yeah, um, definitely on the harder difficulty, I've mentioned before, but just in case you haven't seen those videos, uh, I don't like to take chances when it comes to uh, keeping the mechs in repair, simply because it's, I've had so many uh, missions that I've had to retry due to lucky shots that uh, tore off limbs or even killed some of my pilots before. So, definitely, if you have the opportunity to repair your mech, and it has some damage taken, definitely do so. Uh, this end field, we can take advantage of some AI issues. It won't move whatsoever, so once you know what mech it's targeting, just position it on the other side of the resource building. That way it loses line of sight and can't shoot your mech and you can just lay into it. Oh, that's one infield down. Enemy resources captured. I can capture the enemy's enemy resources captured. Now we can capture Good everything in the base. Now you can salvage the Davian mechs due north of this installation. And we don't even have to mess with those uh, defenders outside of the base. Because they're really not going to do anything. That building, or that base down there, we can ignore as well. Alright, now we have enough RP to uh, repair or salvage four mechs, or, and one additional. We're going to destroy this turret generator to disable the turrets below us because there's no real use in capturing them. Turrets deactivated. Objective complete. Alright. And now we got all the mechs that we need. And one clan mech, which is pretty awesome. And as you can see, I split them into two different control groups. And I want to put one of my uh, Jaeger mechs uh, at the front. Because it's definitely the more heavily armored of my mechs. And I'm going to have it charge the space here. Plus it's long range will allow it to shoot that fuel tank um, okay. while staying pretty far out of range. Although still probably get shot by LRM turrets. Uh, the bridge is clear for the rest of the units to come in. This um, unit up here is just an LRM carrier, which you want to rush. Well, that's pretty easy to destroy nonetheless. And we want to move to the right of the base so that we can capture this um, 
turret control tower here. But we want to stay away from the left side of the base because there's another turret control tower which... Uh, unless you want to capture both at the same time, but I found it better to keep my forces together because once the uh, defenders come out, um, they're not going to be very happy. They're pretty powerful. We've got a we have a Highlander and a Shootist, or two Shootists to deal with. Turrets deactivated. As you can see, he's really. Messed up one of my mechs so far. We're pretty much gonna just run that end field all the way back to the repair bay. See, he does not go down easy at all. Anyways, back to the repair bay for him. The rest of our units can continue on. All right. I want to stick with flanking the base right now. Take a Jaeger mech with jump jets and capture these auto cannon turrets. Capture the weapons facility. Objective Run to the other side of the base and quickly uh, capture the LRM turrets. Oh, I love these little beauties. Swarm long range missiles. Swarm missiles do area effect splash damage. We can send him Very now to the repair bay as well. Lots of vehicles in a single salvo. Not to continue on our way. Or after we capture the gate facility, that is. <clears throat> uh, actually, what we're going to do here is um, use baiting tactics to pull the defenders of the southern bases up to the northern one which we now control and has tons of LRM turrets uh, although even half of them are deactivated now there's still plenty for us to utilize there I'm taking my sensors mech along with uh, the stars flare which will be the bait You want to make sure you get him up close so that he pulls all the defenders away at once.
seem to have uh, drawn some people over, so. Time to retreat inside of the base and have my uh, bait guy just chill inside of the base while everybody else sits outside. And wrecks havoc on these uh, enemy Jaeger mechs. I decided to use some of my RPs to salvage another Jaegermik because it came out in good condition. You want to be careful, as you see uh, on the other end of that bridge there, there's some mines, so keep your mechs from wandering over there. And you can always notice the mines by the little patches of dots. Just jump. Oh. We've pulled out the Zeus, so. Have our bait retreat back to get some more repairs. <laughs> As you guys start to move um, south, and if you're moving guys back from the repair bay to meet up with your advance squad, make sure that repair they don't try to take defeated. the southern bridge, because they will just run into a minefield and die. You'll see later I have to um, correct the AI a few times, even when the top bridge is the obviously better route. As you can see on my mini map, the end field starts to run back around now, which is kind of aggravating. <laughs> it's 
so yeah, you have to correct the AI here. There's a resource truck here you can capture. Enemy resources captured. There's some Razorbacks that um, are outside the final location, which is points 3 and 4, which is this base that we're going to have to uh, capture and destroy the enemies. Now we finally got the end field about to catch up. Start moving our forces up. As you can see, there's a massive minefield there that we're going to have to avoid. And we're going to do this by hugging the water as we travel south. And we're going to curve around to the base from point four instead of approaching at to uh, towards point three. As you can see, uh, this side is pretty exposed. We can get inside the base without facing any turrets, uh, allowing us to capture all of them instead, and turn them against the various heavy mechs that we're going to be facing inside of this base. This is definitely um, be pretty hard, even with a full squad of nine. So there's a bushwhacker here, that's right by the extraction point. And a Highlander that comes out to join up. You definitely need to bait the Highlander. I dropped the artillery, but... Ends up kind of not being really needed that much. Although it does help a little bit. down.
We lost a Jaeger mech, but that's not a big deal because we have two left anyways. And you can expect to lose um, some mechs in this mission. Now I can capture the base and... jump again to capture this gate. So you want to be able to section off the uh, enemy, this allowing our kiting and baiting to go about easier. Zeus to face, or a Zeus and a Hollander. Since the Star Slayer was their target, um, all our mechs are pretty much getting free shots on them. While oh, they try to figure out ways of reaching it. guy running outside the base can capture those turrets. Turn it against our Zeus here. Objective complete. Somewhere in there I managed to lose a mech, and I'm not quite sure how that happened, but... This one over there. Maybe it got too close to those LRM towers. But yeah, now it's we pretty much wrapped up this mission with capturing the uh, headquarters. And you're free to extract now. Okay.